A Samsung phone burst into flames on a plane, forcing emergency evacu- evacuation. It's been a while since we had one of these stories. Mm-hmm. The, uh, of course, famously, we remember the Note series. Yeah. Having some... With a video. and Plane issues. Oh, you have a video no, here? No, this, this oh. doesn't have a video. It's being reported that a Samsung smartphone burst into flames inside an Alaska Airlines flight. Yesterday evening, upon inspection, it was found that the passenger's Galaxy A21 caught fire in a cargo hold. In the cargo hold. Interesting. So mm-hmm. it was in their luggage. Most people aren't going to put the phone in the luggage. It's unusual. Maybe they were just using two phones. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> they, they brought their iPhone on the plane yeah. and the Galaxy A21 went in the luggage. Uh-huh. There's enough fire and smoke that the flight crew had to initiate an emergency evacuation. Well, let me follow up on that, man. I'm just, if you want to carry two phones, carry, like, you know, we all do weird things. Well, I go to, I go play hockey I can never decide which stick I want to use. I carry two sticks, mm-hmm. you know? Well, that's different because you might break one and then you have, but but if you want to carry two phones, you carry two phones, man. Everybody got their own things here. Yeah, there's no hate here. Everybody's got their own things, man. I just said for me. Diversity. For, I just said for me, that's it. Yeah. Okay, we all hear you. Thank God. Moving on. <laughs> Thank God, well. Yeah. Uh, this incident happened right after the flight landed at the airport. The phone caused a small fire, and the plane's crew had to use fire extinguishers and a battery containment bag to stop the phone from smoking. However, they had to be evacuated through the inflatable slides. Mm-hmm. I always wanted to do that. I mean, not in a t- time of an emergency, but they always Just look, for fun. So look at those things. This is a big inflatable yeah. uh, slide out the plane. All devices with lithium. I can't help it, man. As much as I'm used to flying... And I have no apprehension around it at all. I, uh, I can't help but just imagine, okay, we land in the ocean here. What happens? Do you know what I mean? When we're up, I don't know if you're one of these people. If you try to not think about it, I'm the opposite. I try to think of all possibilities and it's entertaining for myself. Oh, well, like what would you do? Or how quickly do you die if this thing hits here? Or oh. what does that feel like? Yeah. Or or let's imagine landing in the ocean and for, and somehow the plane doesn't completely evaporate on impact. Yeah. Uh, are, if, are we sliding out into the ocean or do we sit in, how long do we sit in here? Like I'm thinking of these things. Mm. That's me on a typical flight. <laughs> I'm also thinking of things that can go wrong inside the flight itself because yeah. you're just left to your own thoughts a lot during that experience of flying. Yeah. And I like to weigh all the, you know, I like to take a look around, measure yeah. things up. I can't help it. You're just sweating. Okay, let me ask you something. You're one of these people, well, you go and you get a needle, whatever it is. I don't know if you're, they're taking blood. Let's say they're taking blood from you. Okay. You have a blood test. Yeah. Are you watching the needle be inserted into your vein or are you looking away? Or are you looking forward or what are you doing? Um... I thought about this. So okay. yeah, I look away. You look I don't away. Look directly at the needle. See, no. I look directly at the needle. <laughs> Give it to me. I, Do I it. don't I don't say that. Like I'm not I'm not necessarily enjoying it. I just feel that this is happening to me. What, what am I gonna pretend? Like I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm watching. Yeah. It it could be a natural tendency to look that way. But people feel very strongly about this. Uh-huh. That they what are you looking at? Don't look. Mm-hmm. And I kind of wonder the person doing it, they, do they want you looking at it? They're not even looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's like somebody observing this thing. They're yeah. trying to hit your vein and whatever else. I mean, I, typically I don't have, they don't have trouble to hit my vein. Mm-hmm. But I'm just curious. I'm just generally curious. I'm like, well, let me see you get that vein right there. Let me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But I think I'm curious. I mean, we can do the poll in our own comment yeah, section we'll do here. Our own poll. If you ha- have to get the needle, uh, if you have to, or give the blood or whatever version of that that you're thinking of. Um, oh man, I had a surgery when I was younger that they had to stab me in the chest just below the collarbone. And you were watching it? And I was awake. Mm. And um, it was a huge, it was a type of needle that would let, that would, what air could travel through, that could actually extract air. Mm. And they had to take a swing at it because they had to get through, I don't know if it's, if it's a bone or it's just thick where they got to put it. Right. And I was watching the whole way. I was conscious. There was, I just, because it's, 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 it's a sort of an emergency, I guess. Like they got to do it fast. Were you scared? And they just go, and they just go, like, it was like a thump to it because they had to actually swing into it. Yeah. And I'm just watching. Oh. You know? 
Were you scared or what were you feeling? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. Oh. I don't remember, to be honest. I don't think I was scared. I was intrigued. You're like, if the plane fell into the ocean, I, honestly, what would happen? Honestly, no, no, no. I'm sure I was scared. I don't know. I'm sure I was uncomfortable. Let's put it that way. But okay. I still, but I still uh, uh, watch. I read some quote from, I was reading Wikipedia. You know, I'm reading the Wikipedia all the time. Yeah. So I was reading Wikipedia. I was reading about uh, Andy Warhol. Let, let me just, I don't have to do the whole thing here. Because I can see you're deep, you're breathing deep, and I, I see what's going on here. And Otis was coughing earlier, and whatever. But I'm reading this Andy Warhol thing, yeah. And uh, how I got there, I don't really want to get into too much, but it had something to do with a Jay Z and Beyonce thing, and I just, yeah. it's not. I don't have to go through the whole thing. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I get on a Wikipedia page for him having linked through a previous Wikipedia page about about. Um. Yeah. Now you found the whole story. And <laughs> well, I just want yeah, yeah, well, just keep talking about it. Anyway, 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 grab some anyway. On the, the on the Wikipedia, it talks about when he got shot. He got shot and almost died, right? Mm. And he talks about the experience how in movies or television, everything is so dramatic and felt so deeply that you assume when something really dramatic happens to you in real life, that it will have all the feelings associated with it, mm. that it would be dramatic. But then in reality, and I'm paraphrasing in reality, when something actually dramatic happens to you, you don't, it does not feel like a movie. It feels almost It feels very uh, dull and weird and just absurd or strange or, or uneasy. It doesn't have the, the romance of it. It doesn't have all the pieces you would expect to find there. It doesn't have... Um, let's just get the actual quote. Go to Wikipedia and go to Andy Warhol right now. I, I, I just want to thank the audience for going on this ride with us. I promise we will get back on the rails in a moment here. Uh, and go down to attempted murder or whatever. It's, uh, well, yeah, there you go. 1968 attempted. Okay, here it is. Here's a quote. Oh, sorry. Before I was shot, I always thought, that I was more half there than all there. I always suspected that I was watching TV instead of living life. People sometimes say that the way things happen in movies is unreal, but actually it's the way things happen in life that's unreal. The movies make emotions look so strong and real, whereas when things ha really do happen to you, it's like watching television. You don't feel anything. Right when I was being shot and ever since, I knew that I was watching television. The channel switched, but it's all television. Now, this is an abstract. It's an extreme version of what I said. But things in life happen so abruptly and unexpectedly that the processing of emotions often doesn't happen immediately. Mm -hmm. And this could be somebody, something happening to a loved one or yourself or a crisis situation or whatever. It's in retrospect that you really sort of recognize the texture texture of it mm -hmm. and in the moment it's just you're on autopilot and whatever you uh at your depth whatever uh, fabric you're made of sort of determines your actions in the moment but your ability to perceive the whole thing comprehensively comes later mm -hmm. and that's where the trauma comes from there Is you go that, like initial not realizing that you're in this situation but just moving naturally and you have a sense of that memory of what what transpired it would kind of follow you and then you have time to kind of uh process it process it and try to derive meaning from it and like the idea of wondering why did that happen that way why did i respond that way mm -hmm. all these factors I don't know how that, that all came from watching the needle, but it seems somehow related here. Anyway, so phone exploded. Uh, I, it will not be the last. It, it's amazing how many people it can really disrupt. And you see these people yeah. standing on the runway here. 
uh, one phone battery explodes and, uh-huh. you know, you could look at this the other way though and say, it's amazing they don't explode more often, these things. Yeah. I, you know, it's just unfortunate it happened in a flight, but yeah, the chances are really low. Very low. Yeah. Very low.